Welcome back traders to Stat Oasis channel. My name is Ali Casey. In today's video, I will go over Perry Kaufman efficiency ratio. You might heard me before that uh, I use uh, some uh, methods to verify if the market is tilted toward trend following or mere reversion strategy. Of course, every market has a unique character and I'm not a believer that uh, short time frame uh, should work on correlated markets because each market character is different. But the longer time frame you take, then strategies should work on uh, correlated markets. So how do you define a correlated market other than finding a strategy and comparing the results? Well, you can, uh, we can categorize the markets if they are in bull market and bear market and high volatility or less volatility. Also, the, the built-in character, if they are uh, leaning towards mean reverting or leaning towards trend following. And Perry Coffin invented this indicator that measures the uh, noise in the market in any time period. So Perry Kaufman is like, I think, 70 something today, and he's still trading and share a lot of information. I have a high respect for him and I have all his books. And this is his latest uh, book, Trading Systems and Methods. This is the sixth edition. And that tells you that <laughs> how popular is this book. Here you can see the level of noise that he's talking about. So imagine we have a market that goes from point A here to point B here. So all these curves are, uh, go from point A to point B. So they all go roughly from 440 to 480. But the blue line has the, let's say, the least, uh, least amount of noise in that movement, while the black line has the most amount of noise. And it will be prudent to trade the blue line with a trend following system and the black line with the mean reverting system. Basically, what this indicator uh, does, it, it uh, measures the end price minus the beginning price and it divides that on the sum of all the price changes in between. And it, it looks something like this. So this is the S&P 500, and this is the efficiency ratio. Now this is in an indicator and it works like, let's say simple moving average, where it has a look back period. So this look back period will affect how it's gonna behave. So Perry recommends a 10 bar look back period, with a 0.4. So here uh, zero is the very noisy and one, obviously it's the, that means all the bars are moving in one direction with zero overlap. And so we can see that uh, on a 60 bar uh, look period, the S&P has, for example, here, so we can see here that the movement above 0.3 produced, well not produced, that means the market is uh, trending uh, almost cleanly. And I will show you this on the uh, euro dollar. So obviously euro dollar is a very trending uh, market most of the time. And you can see that the indicator here above 0.3 all the way, obviously it's a clean tr uh, trend. So we can use this efficiency ratio as a filter uh, for a market regime or as a signal generator. Of course, when you go on a shorter time frame, so let's uh, put the look back at 10 bars. Obviously now it's more noisy, but still it's picking up a lot of the trending times. So you can see again, 0.3 will be here. And every time you're above 0.3, that means the market is trending. Now. At this point is only, it's not a filter for the market, but it's a filter for the signal. So you can play with these numbers, of course, to find, uh, like I don't usually, this is what I do with all indicators like RSI or Momentum or ADX. I don't just follow what the inventor <laughs> recommends because we are algorithmic traders and we're just playing with numbers. So I just play with numbers to find the best solution that I want. To do this in strategy context, we don't have Perry Kaufman efficiency ratio, but the uh, development team at the SQX, they did program that indicator, but they didn't put it in the uh, platform. They, uh, it's available on the forum. So I did download the, uh, the indicator and the signal, 
and I actually put it on my website and if you go to my website and just go to free resources and just scroll down and here is the Perry Kaufman efficiency ratio and this is the book I highly recommend this book if you have uh, decided to read a book uh, this holiday because Perry Kaufman books usually they are very practical they are not like uh, for example Jack Schwager books uh, while each have their own advantage but uh, I, I will categorize this book as one of the practical books because there are some practical books and there are some theory books and if you click on efficiency ratio it will uh, download a zip file and if you so this will be the zip file. If you unzip it, then you will have uh, these uh, three files. So just go to Strategy Quantex and go to Code Editor. And in Code Editor, just click on Import, Import Extensions. Just highlight the two and select and of course i did already this before so you shouldn't have this message and then you will have these snippets and just recompile and it's done close and now if you go to blocks and then indicators you should have kaufman efficiency ratio and it will also be available inside uh, uh, Algo Wizard. Now, for this to take effect, you need to restart uh, SQX. Once you restart it, then it will be available in, the, in your block. So if you go to Signals, and this is Kaufman Efficiency Ratio lower than a level and higher than a level. And if you go to Indicators, here is Kaufman efficiency ratio. Great, so now that we have it inside blocks, of course, we can use it in Algo Wizard. So I'll build a simple a, a trend following system. So let's go with uh, daily high. So this is a simple trend following uh, system. And it's uh, uh, the GE is a uh, as an expensive contract and so obviously we'll make a lot more money with the position sizing so we can try now to see if the uh, Kaufman so just write Kaufman efficiency is higher than a level so let's try 10 bar and uh, 0.5 so currently we have a uh, return to drawdown ratio of 5.5 .5 with a 10% drawdown and let's see so we did improve a little bit now it's six and uh, let's throw down let's go a little bit down and it's much better now so the if you, of course if you put it zero nothing will happen so this is to compare so now we have 7.3 7.9 uh, drawdown and without the filter, it's five and a half and, and almost 11 drawdown. So it's definitely an improvement uh, over the old system. And w whenever you use a market filter or a signal filter, make sure that there is a significant improvement. Otherwise, don't use it because simple is always more robust, always. So unless you have a significant improvement, then don't use any filter. So in this case, obviously, we do have a significant improvement. Yes. Now also try it on the other side. So this is a trend following system. So let's start a new system. And this time uh, build a mean reversion system. So let's pick of course the granddaddy of mean reversion. <laughs> And let's store it and one. So a simple mean reversion system is when the uh, RSI 
of the clause of two. And like I showed you before, everybody recommends 14. I go with the Connors, where he has his own RSI, but of course I use two on the normal RSI also. It's, uh, it will be very fast uh, reacting. So when the RSI is lower than, uh, I don't know, 20, let's pick 30. So when the RSI is lower than 30, we'll go long and when we'll exit when the, the, the close is above the um, SMA. And we'll pick, uh, let's start with five days. And it's on the ES, yes. So let's run a full back test. So this is our uh, benchmark, the uh, mirror version system. It's uh, making 103 and 89% drawdown. So the return to drawdown ratio is three point something and 89 drawdown. Let's see if we can enhance it. So let's use, uh, and I'll use Kaufman in both ways. Like I told you, I don't go with what the inventor <laughs> says. I just try, because uh, usually, usually you make money with an odd idea that nobody's doing. Anyway, so let's do first the logical one, which is lower than a level. More noise is lower than a level. So if I go lower than 0.3, and uh, let's put 30. So now when the, uh, I will say when the 30 bar look back period uh, on the S&P uh, 500, it looks noisy, then I want to take that long near reversion uh, signal. And let's see if we can enhance it. So right now we have 3 and 89. So we did enhance the drawdown significantly. So now let's try the other side, which is higher than a level. So again, let's try uh, 30 and 0.3. And let's delete this one. So So we did make a better return to drawdown ratio, but the drawdown now is higher. So let me see if I go this side. Oh my God, much better. So now the drawdown is 27. Of course, we're making less money, but you can always do that uh, with position sizing. So we're always, I mean, I always, I'm looking for return to drawdown because I want a system that I can trade and 45% drawdown is not tradable unless you are in a big portfolio and it's totally different case. But I always try to optimize the system for a better lower drawdown. So it's tradable. Anyway, so this, you can see that this doesn't make sense. Now it's the more trendy the market is, the better the mean reversion system is doing. So, uh, but I, it doesn't matter. Yes, we're always, we're just looking at numbers. We just want to know that this is not a peak. So let's see the one beside it. So better uh, drawdown definitely still. And uh, let's see point two. And almost uh, better drawdown also, better return. Uh, uh, no, it was the same, I think, 55. This indicator will be useful to you. And remember, you can use it in the builder blocks. And uh, I'm sure it will add some diversification to your portfolio. As usual, please, if you have any questions, do post them below. I answer all questions. And please do share, like, subscribe, so Google can push it to other traders. And until the next video, stay safe, and I'll see you soon.